Chess friends, the most fun in chess is when you start sacrificing your pieces, make brilliant moves, think you're going to lose but actually you win the game, ironic it seems. Our today's game is also like that. And I am here to teach you chess strategies and tactics. So, let's get started, I opened with e4, we have c5, knight comes on f3, d6 by alpha, I played d4, d captured, pawn captured by knight, we have knight f6, knight comes on c3, in this position, you can play a6 knight here, or g6, he played a6, he can play like this, bishop b7, bishop on this line, so, we have bishop to g5, knight comes on c6, queen up to d2, my strategy is to play like this, castle, push the pawn, you might think black have open file, and he can send his army to create pressure on queen's side. But it's not so easy, knight here, this knight pawn structure is not bad, black can't attack it, so, bishop develops on d7, f4 by me, queen rise on b6, knight back to b3, e6 by alpha, I played castle, I am threatening to play e5, if you take it, then bishop takes knight, if takes then, queen takes bishop, position will be fall for alpha, so, he pushed his pawn, kicking out the bishop first, bishop takes knight, pawn takes f6, king slides on b1, ok, we have castle, both side castle in the same direction, but, you know what. This pawn structure is not good for black, very passive bishops, so, improve your position, bishop here, h5 by alpha, we have h4, my strategy is to move my rook on h3, using it by placing on these files, knight here, bishop on this diagonal will be a critical situation for black, so, he played knight a5, rook up to h3, king slides, rook comes on e3, well, I want to play knight d5, if pawn takes, then knight captures, with supporting of the queen, I will get the open file, where bishop will target this. Position will be fall for alpha. Even you can't protect it by playing bishop b5, trying to block the file, then I will play a4, and black will lose the game. So, in this position, we have queen c7, g3 by me, rook c8, I played a3, you might wonder why black doesn't take the knight, but it's not the good exchange, just play improving moves, because black have passive piece positions, and you have a great space. So, alpha played queen d8, pausing move, bishop back to f1, bishop goes e7, queen here, e1, queen up to c7, king goes to a2, knight comes on c4, targeting the rook, we have bishop takes knight, queen takes bishop, rook up to d4, queen back to c7, queen goes to e2, I want to play f5, you shouldn't take it, otherwise position will be open, and if you try to close the position, then rook here, knight here, the knight will be a good position, so, what should black play? Pause the video and try to find the best move for alpha, go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, ok if you find bishop here or bishop here, play like this, rook here, all those moves are human looking move. Alpha played b5 which is the best move in this position, looks like risky but it's the best. Because it creates some space for the queen, bishop here, creating space for the bishop and so on. I played f5, try to open up the center side, queen bye bye alpha 0, queen slides on d2, alpha pushed his a5 pawn which is a mistake, best was to play normal moves, because pushing your two pawns on king side is a big commitment, I played a4, you shouldn't take it, because the position will be open, rook takes, and black will face troubles, so he pushed the b pawn on b4. Guys, in this position, I want you to pause the video, and try to find best move for me go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, ok if you find knight here, or try to re-rotate the knight, then you are thinking like a 1800 rated player, when you find a good move, look for better one, I played knight d5, ok, I am threatening to take the bishop, if queen backs, then take the bishop, queen takes, then knight takes pawn, rook takes. I mean white will get plus 7 advantages. So, back to position, he captured the knight, rather than taking the pawn with rook or pawn I played knight takes pawn. The knight is hanging, 
the pawn is hanging, but you can't take one of these pieces, if queen takes knight, then rook takes pawn check, wherever the king goes, it will be a discover attack to the queen. So, back the position, if pawn takes pawn, then rook takes pawn will be devastating for you. So, alpha played rook c4, try to block it, knight takes c4, pawn takes c4, two knights for a rook, rook takes pawn. Rook g7, targeting the pawn, but you shouldn't try to save it, because I have an outside passed pawn. So, bishop e5. Bishop h3, you can't take the bishop, because there is mate in two with rook and bishop. So, in this position, I play queen h1. You can't take the queen, because of king takes queen, then rook check, king here, threatening mate, even if you play king c1, then bishop c3, then bishop f3, rook check will be a big threat. So, in this position, I played rook c6. You cannot take the rook, therefore rook a7 check will be checkmate. Alpha played rook d1 check. Rook f7, I caught both of these pieces, and rook targeting this, wherever bishop goes rook and king can take one of these pawn. Wish you all the best, thanks for watching, subscribe for more, bye bye. Take care, see you in my next video.